ingenious inventor. I thought you said this was a dark ages. It doesn't look very dark. That's because it's all a matter of perspective my soon to be illuminated. Right. Of course there are parts of the world that weren't dark at all, but in the civilization that stretched from Spain to China, the golden rays of discovery and invention shone over everything. What civilization? The Muslim civilization, my young friend. Through scholars and scientists of various faiths, some of the most important discoveries known to man were made in this time. Discoveries that drew on knowledge of the ancients, but have more connections with your modern world than you could possibly ever imagine. Like what? Well, all sorts of things. We've got to get a picture of this. I knew it was a good idea. Who are you? Allow me to introduce Ibn al Aytan, a great scientist whose ideas led to the invention of the camera. You invented the camera? I laid the foundations for modern cameras by explaining how our eyes work. I found a way of projecting an image onto another surface through a small hole in a dark room, later called Camera Obscura. Think of all the things that evolved from this discovery. Cameras, cinema, all share the same principle. Cool. That's my good friend, Abbas Ibn Farnas, who gazed up to the heavens, passionate in his belief that man could fly. Cool. Indeed, he dared to dream about flying a thousand years before the Wright brothers. Do you know you won't take your jet-setting holidays for granted, so it only seems fair to remember Abbas Ibn Farnas. Stand by. I'm ready for takeoff! You did forget one thing though. A tail, useful for that. Ah, Is there a doctor in the house? Did someone call? Ah, my old friend, why don't you introduce yourself to my young guests? I am Abu Qasim al Zahra. Many call me the father of surgery. Did you actually do surgery back then? Of course we did. In fact, many of the surgical tools that I invented are still used in your modern hospitals. Excuse me, the patient needs my attention. Scalpel! I think I may need some stitches. In that case, I use cat gut. Cat gut? From the gut of animals. Perfect for stitching up internal wounds. Your surgeons are still using it today. Sorry, mustache. Oh, shitty. That's Mariam al Astralabi, one of the many brilliant women of her time. She made sophisticated astrolabes. Astro what? Astrolabes. They share the sky and the stars with a small flat plate you can hold in your hand. Think of them as ancient calculating or timekeeping devices. Today you have your watch, a compass, satellite navigation, helping people and explorers travel the world. Science at its brilliant best. And all these things were developed during the golden ages. Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There were thousands of other inventions covering all areas of life, and in the years that followed, their influence spread across the whole of medieval Europe. So you see, it wasn't so dark after all. What about you? Me? What did you invent? Well, I don't want to be beheaded, but I make some groundbreaking advances in engineering. I suppose my most significant discovery converted rotary motion. This is a crank and connecting part. It's essentially pumped engines. In fact, I have no idea how the industrial revolution could have happened hundreds of years later without such a device. I don't get the credit of myself. But my crank.
crown him glory was my amazing time television. I let him do it. Yes. Dozens of commandments collected from different cultures around the world. Hindu, Greek, Roman, Egyptian, Chinese. Wow. A united nations club. <laughs> that is incredible. Does it actually tell the time? Wow, yes, of course. It wasn't for me. Thousands of people would be late for everything. Speaking of time, we're going to get you back. And remember, spread the word. This was the golden age. And I've only shown you a tiny part of this wondrous time. There are countless other scientists and inventions directly connected to your modern world. We're just going to have to find out for ourselves. You're right. Bye, bye, bye.